welcome back to my channel she says happiness i'm mary ellen this is my little space where i chat to you about all things sewing related and in case you're wondering what the hell i'm doing dressed in sequins on a friday morning i'm literally just trying on something that i made last night so i decided to just start sewing something uh last night and i have this beautiful sequin fabric which i got from minerva and it's just been glittering away at me for the last couple of weeks and even though I have no occasion to be wearing sequins and I'm actually of the belief that you don't need an occasion to wear sequins I can wear them every day if I so wish I yeah just decided that I was going to make myself a sew over a Georgie dress now the downside to that is that there are sequins everywhere in my sewing room so I'm going to be going away for a little bit just thought I'd, I'd share with you the dress so you can see a little bit um, I'll take some pictures and stuff before because I need to share them on my Minerva page. Um, but yeah, I need to go away for a bit and literally vacuum up the hundreds and thousands of little sequins that are literally all over this room. And I'll chat to you a little bit more when I come back about this lovely dress, which actually I was figuring would be really scratchy and stuff. I've managed to get it so that it's not. It is nicely lined in a very comfortable cotton jersey. So you know, looks glam on the outside, but super comfy on the inside. And yeah, it's just left a bit of a devastation in its wake. So I have a bit of clearing up today. Um, so when I return, I won't look like this. I will be scrubbing around, <laughs> just getting the place tidied up and clean again. Um, but yeah, I'll chat to you all about this and some other things when I get back. See you soon. Right, I'm back and as I predicted, not looking half as elegant as what I did in my sequin dress. I also have company in the sewing room at the moment. So little Oreo has popped in, probably just to be nosy because I see him kind of like staring in the nooks and crannies um, because he was locked out of here last night because there were sequins literally everywhere. So doesn't like to miss anything, I think. Um, it's not really about seeing me at all. It's about seeing what I'm up to. So I've got my Jenny Stitches mug, got my coffee, nice and strong. Just how I like it and how I need it. Um, black is the moonless sky and all that. So yeah, my, my Georgie dress. It's a pattern that I love. It's a pattern I have chatted to you about numerous times. I must have four of them. I just think it's a really beautiful silhouette that is created with a really effortless pattern. There's nothing complicated in it. So it's not even that I would say, you know, steer clear if you're not an experienced dressmaker. I don't think it's a difficult pattern. It's got a couple of little pleats in one of the front pieces. It's lined, but again, lining is a really easy thing to do. And it has a three quarter um, circle skirt on the version that I have made this time. So as I said, I was going to take a couple of pictures to put on my Minerva profile, so I'll share a couple with you now. And yeah, it's just lovely. It's It elevates what is a, like, like basically a work classic for me. And I just think it would be lovely for heading out with the girls for a few cocktails or you know, any kind of event really. I love a bit of bling. I will equally wear this to my office. Um, so it doesn't really phase me. I'm not one of these people who thinks they have to get super dressed up for special things and and have a different wardrobe for every day my wardrobe is just i take whatever is the next thing there you know so there'll be days that i will look very inappropriately dressed for the office but it was just the dress that i saw first and i liked it so i would put it on whether it's got tool sequin sparkle whatever it's pretty i'll wear it i don't really do pure office wear Although I do have some nice classic work pieces as well. Um, but I think that's one of the things that I've always done. I've always just dressed in what I liked and never really considered, you know, styles or uses. I'm not utilitarian at all. I'm quite frivolous and fanciful. So if I want to wear tool and sequins to the office, I'll wear tool and sequins to the office. And who cares what people think, right? So... The Georgie dress, as I said, I've made three quarter circle skirt just because it gives a lovely bit of swoosh. I don't generally make the circle skirt version. I usually go for the galleries when I'm stitching with um, 
cotton viscose jersey, which is commonly what I use to make this dress. Uh, but I just thought, make it so that it's suitable for dancing. Why not? And um, never care if it's a really windy day because actually the weight of the sequins, it's not going to blow that much anyhow, like some of the other dresses. And that's why I don't tend to make as many circle skirts as what I used to wear. Um, I would have said 75% of my wardrobe before I started sewing um, would have been circle skirts because it was a very fit flare classic 50 silhouette that really made up my wardrobe um but i've kind of moved away a little from that and i think even though i'm not a practical person i am quite frivolous i don't want to be displaying myself in public when it's gusty outside which let's face it is like 50 weeks of the year in ireland so there is a little practicality within me. Anyhow, I love that dress and I would recommend that pattern to anybody at whatever level you're at. It's not complicated. It's very, very simple. Um, I think sewing with jersey is incredibly easy anyhow. I know that sometimes when people begin, they prefer to work with the stable cottons and things like that. And that's great, but there's really no difference. Um, and I never found a difference because I think I made my first jersey dress within about three weeks of sewing and it went through the machine proper because all you need to remember is to use the right kind of needle, use the right kind of stitch, all of the basics and I don't encounter problems, never have. So feel reassured that even if you think jersey is something really complicated and difficult and you need an overlocker and whatnot, you don't. It's really easy. It's just like any other kind of sewing. So I did get really annoyed when I hear people talking about, oh, if, if you're scared to sew with jersey, scared to sew with jersey it's an absolute dream it's a gift and especially when you've got cotton jerseys like this I mean this is a stable jersey so there's no real issue there at all so since I was last with you that's what I've made um, and the couple of little projects that I had chatted about previously um, last week whenever I created the last vlog I can't believe a week has gone already it does not feel like a week it's just flown in you know so I was chatting to you about two little projects that I had on the go last week and that was to make undies so I was using the so so undies pattern and I was making a little pair of pajamas for Henry so I was making t-shirt shorts versions of the pajamas that I would usually make him which is from the pattern by so a little seam the movie night pajamas, a free pattern, a pattern that gives and gives and gives. The size range is amazing. The options is amazing. I've talked about it over and over and over again. So I'm not going to sit here and be repetitive because um, mo most of you are returning to my channel most of the time, I, I think. So I have another little pair cut out here to make just in the shorts and t-shirt version. And the last ones, if I can find a picture, I'll pop in for you just so you can see. It's really, really cute. I just think they're adorable. And I will be making these for years to come. I'm popular today. Getting lots of messages coming through. Day off. And it's not even that it's personal messages. The downside to when you're personal and your work life sometimes blend and there are friendships in between um but yeah I have another little pair of those pajamas cut out which I will sew up today after I fix one thing so I sewed my sequin dress it's the first time I ever sewed with sequins and I know again that's something that people sometimes think is going to be really complicated I just sewed it like any other stretch fabric that I have. I didn't bother taking off sequins and things. What I did do afterwards was remove the sequins from inside after hemming um, on the sleeve. And that made a bit of a difference because otherwise it would have been a wee bit scratchy. But that's the only removal of sequins that happened um, because of course it's fully lined the bodice and I lined it in the cotton jersey so I don't feel the sequins and even at the waistband I don't really feel them because what I did was I stitched a little um, clear elastic on top so there's nothing really to feel there as well just to hold the stability of the dress because sometimes as you wear jersey it kind of loses its recovery a wee bit so I always put clear elastic into the waist just to give it extra stability it works for me. Um, 
but I forget what I was saying. Mm. This really is necessary, honestly. So yeah, there was only one casualty. I was fine. I didn't break any needles when it came to sewing, but I thought we will tidy up the, uh, the seam at the waist. So I thought, let's put this through the overlocker. And it must have gone about two centimeters. And the needle was like, nah, not having this. And it broke. So I need to look out overlocker needles. I hope I have some. Um, and get my overlocker needles changed. They were probably due to be changed anyhow. Um, I don't actually remember when I last changed them. So I guess it was a sign. Um, but I'm probably just going to stitch these little pajamas up on the sewing machine anyhow I prefer to do that and then sometimes I'll overlock as well because again I, I do like sewing on the overlocker sometimes if you're in a hurry but I don't like to sew in a hurry I think sewing is something to take your time over it is something to enjoy to be methodical about to endeavor not to make mistakes and when you rush things mistakes happen it's inevitable because your concentration your focus just isn't really quite there so I will be stitching those on there anyhow and I only use the overlocker really even for tidying because I want them to last they're going to be on my little rascal of a child who just is like a tornado moving about and yeah no mercy <laughs> so we want them to last I don't want them um, taking too much strain and I do find that sewing on the sewing machine is much better that way. The other thing that I had then been sewing were the undies, which I have here. So I managed to get four pairs. So mind, mind you, this was like literally made out of scraps of jersey that I had in my stash. So you can see it's the dress I'm wearing. I've actually managed to get three pairs out of that and then I'd made another this is a Moneta dress I'd made another Moneta dress in this fabric here and I had enough left to make another so yeah I need to make a few more of these I think these are fab I also love working with this fold over elastic it brings me so much happiness it's relaxing it's really calming I just really love the entire experience of making these things why I never made them before I don't know but there's no going back now because actually they're incredibly comfortable. I've worn um, the first pair that I've made, I've worn them and they are just like totally different to the shop bought things. They just fit perfectly as we're used to when we do our own sewing, right? So that's where I am with my stitching. It is very much slow and steady at the moment. I have a couple of projects that I'll be secretly squirreling away on um, going forward. I've got a pattern test that I am doing and I have a Minerva project that I'm working on and I can't even show you the fabrics for it because it's for one of their special kits that'll be coming out after the summer so I've got the time to work on that and actually I need the time to work on that because it's a very, very involved make. But I'm really excited about that and about showing it to you once it is done. But there's a couple of other things that I have here that I can share with you. So I had no fabrics last week because I was a really good girl. Um, and I've still been a really good girl because actually I have two fabrics here that have come from Minerva. And they are gifted as part of the brand ambassador program so basically they give me the fabric I make the project I do a little write-up I post some photos over on their um, website on my profile but also I can share it wherever I like after that so I will share those with you too um, but they've released another couple of ranges of fabrics and I do not ordinarily sew with polyester based fabrics but I really really fell for the prints of these fabrics and actually even just the quality they feel lovely they feel really really lovely so yeah there we are surprised myself so the very first one that I've got here and these are both exclusive so you probably know you've probably seen sorry I've got an itchy eye it's my contact lens um Minerva are now printing um, their own exclusive ranges of fabrics on a complete variety 
a fabric basis. So this base that I'm going to show you now is one of their newest, which is just um, has just been released. It's a charmeuse. So it's like a satin. It's really, really silky satin fabric. And it is 100% polyester. The design that I have ordered is called Celestial Cats. And maybe you'll see why I like this. I really loved it. Again, anything that is black, I can't resist anyhow. Now there's a good chance this may need lined and I do plan on making a dress with it. I don't know which one, but I plan on making a dress with it. But it's very, very fine. But look at that beautiful, beautiful print. I just think it feels so opulent. I think it's beautiful. It is just like silk. Um, there's no other way to describe it. It's beautifully soft and not at all actually what I was expecting. Didn't really know what to expect. But I love celestial prints. Absolutely love them. And I love big caps. I love black. I love gold. It's a classic combination. So I could not resist saying yes. I would love to make something with this print. So beautiful. I also love that there's just this little hint of like royal blue in the design as well. Which just gives it another little dimension, doesn't it? But it's really lovely, you should feel it, it's beautiful. Um, so yeah, that's from their latest collection. And now I've got it so untidy, but sure, it needs to go and get pre-washed anyhow. Um, so the other one then that I got, and again, this is a polyester, but a completely different kind of base cloth. So this is a crepe back satin. Um, fabric. The design of this one is called Nature Notes and it does have a lot more stability to it than the other. It's got quite a thickness but it still, you know, gathers quite nicely. And I always like to see how a fabric gathers because I love a gather. Um, but yeah, there's a wee bit more structure in this. And I just love the colours as well. So it's like a purpley navy. It's not quite a blue, it's more of a purpley navy. But I love these teals and pinks. They work for me. Um, and just that large floral print. It's busy, but I think in a nice way. So I couldn't resist that one either. I thought it was lovely, but yeah. Moves nicely. But as you can see, just not as flimsy as the other fabric. So those will get stitched up within the next couple of months as is required. And coffee. It's just a couple of little novelty fabrics to share with you, so. And worth noting, I pre-ordered these like way back at the start of April or something like that. So technically I haven't bought any fabric again this week. Right, so I did really well, that's two weeks in a row. Because genuinely, I just don't need it. I really don't need it. My room is coming down with it. So these fabrics are from Blooming Fabric Shop. And they do specialize in like pre-orders and printed runs. And I'm not really sure how those things work, but I do quite like a Disney print. Who doesn't? And with the plan to go to Disney, um, Disneyland Paris, again for Henry's birthday, it's just going to be our little Henry's birthday tradition, um, it's already booked like, so it's not planned, it's, we, we are going in December at the start of the month, um, for birthday celebrations, I thought this was super cute, so, like, I think it's a canvas, I'm pretty sure it's a canvas, it feels like a canvas, it's so long ago since I bought it, I don't remember, but this feels like a canvas, so it is this lovely little print with all of the characters reading books, saying things like reading is dreaming with your eyes open, reading is never a waste of time, a book is a gift you can open again and again, but it's really cute. I originally had thought I was going to use this to make like book covers and you know for gifting, um, but actually this might make a really cute little um, bag if not a library bag for putting books in to go and to and from the library for Henry. Um, even just like a little travel bag to carry his things in whenever he is heading away. So really cute. I think the colours are really, really beautiful. It's really well printed. It's lovely. 
the other one I got for myself. So again, last year I purchased some fabric from the same company, which was Cinderella's Sewing Mice theme because, you know, why not? And uh, I used it to make a Manetta dress, which I did wear last December when we went to Disney. And yeah, it was really cute. It's almost too cute for me, to be honest. But I've fallen into the trap of going too cute again. And I have, <laughs> I have bought some French Terry with a similar print, not the same print, but a similar print. So it's all of the little mice from Cinderella and all of the sewing notions. Look, isn't it real cute? Have I got it the right way up? Oh, I do. And the reason why I love this one so much is because it has Gus Gus and Gus is one of my favorite little characters from Disney. I mean, like, he's so cute, he's so cute. You know, and, and who doesn't identify with Gus when his little jumper doesn't fit him just right. So yeah, I got this to make a little sweater that I can wear whenever I like, whether that's sewing or whether that's in Disney, wherever that may be. Um, but yeah, it's just really, really cute. And again, like it's so girly that I'm tremoring a little inside just thinking about wearing it, but I will wear it because it's cute and themed and topical and it celebrates my love of sewing as well. So that's the fabrics that I have today. Oh. I am going to make these little pajamas at least today. So I spent most of the morning clearing up after Henry and vacuuming and just cleaning the house. So it's already 12 o'clock almost. So I only have an hour and then I'll be going to pick him up to go for lunch and head out for the afternoon. But nevertheless, an hour to sew is a gift. So I will enjoy it. And I'll enjoy finishing what's left of this coffee, which isn't quite too cold. Um, yeah, and that's that. So anyhow, hopefully I'll have other things to share with you because it is a bank holiday. And so on Monday, I may get a couple of hours to myself. Probably not. We'll probably be out and about if the weather is good, but we'll see. And um, I'll be back then next Friday. Um, usually Saturday by the time I get this uploaded, uh, just to share with you if there is anything interesting that I have been making um, and maybe some more plans. So I've been pre-washing some things just in the hopes of, you know, planning a few makes. So we'll see how we go with that. Get something solidified so I know what I'm doing. Um, what I will be doing if I get my A0 prints is the pattern test. Um, so I'll need to chip away at that in the evenings after work next week. If I get a chance after dinner and dog walks and bedtime and bath and all of those things, we always make the time, don't we? So again, just want to say thank you for coming back and uh, visiting the channel. And if you're new, please do hit on the subscribe button. If you want to see me getting scared of sequins, great. Um, and yeah, <laughs> have a great day. Have a great weekend, um, wherever you are. And I will chat to you all again soon, I hope. See you soon. Bye.